There's a short list of really great symphonies in the United States, and the Houston Symphony is on it. Maestro and this Houston Symphony, it's the highest level. The Houston Symphony has a history which is similar to other great American orchestras. It was founded on a private initiative of noble philanthropistic motives to have a great culture in town. Some of the best conductors, certainly in the last century, uh, have been at the podium. Including Leopold Stokowski, Sir John Babiroli, Sir Thomas Pitchin. And to complete the century, I'm here now in my almost 12th year and uh, have tried to maintain these activities which define the standing of an orchestra, which is touring, recording, and playing great subscription concerts. Well, it's a big honor, and only the very best orchestras in the country are uh, invited, and so we're very, very pleased to be on the list. Spring for Music is a very unusual and new festival that really highlights and features the creativity and programming from different orchestras around the country. It means that you have the chance to present something very interesting and to play in Carnegie in whatever connection is for every orchestra an interesting thing. Why did I choose uh, this symphony and this satirical work by Shostakovich? Because there's a connection between the symphony and Houston from the very beginning of the existence of the symphony. The 11th symphony and was premiered in America by the Houston Symphony under the direction of its then music director Leopold Stokowski. The anti-formal history is not a work of art. Purely. Shostakovich wrote this piece as a bit of a satire against the Soviet government. The anti-formalist Rayok is the gut reaction of a wounded composer against those who had done this to him. He was fighting back against a Soviet government that wanted to dictate to him how he should write his music. So he didn't intend to write a beautiful piece of music. He just wrote a piece of silly music for his own pleasure and entertainment. Now we put it to the light of a concert hall. It's a comic performance, and I'm a singer and actor. But this is not the Shostakovich, which should be in the collected works, but it will be.